Hey there, game makers, and welcome to the first non-coding part of remaking Undertale. And you guys decided for that, so I had a small little poll. Super tight, to be honest. Then Castlevania and o o Omori. But of course, here, this one won with a slight slide upwards. So this is going to be the next video series on my channel of remaking that game there will be of course undertale in game maker so if you don't know what undertale is very very quickly so undertale is basically let me read that out because i'm a little bit lazy in that kind of regard on the outside it looks like a simplistic uh, rpg with 16-bit retro graphics which is true so basically that's what the game is actually all about but under the hood it is actually a linear story driven bullet hell where you kind of genocide or be neutral or even befriend your enemies and even bosses this is kind of the interesting part so here it kind of flips around how you handle well your battles how you uh, resolve your conflicts with your enemies and normally every uh, regular JRPG or RPG, it's just uh, enemies are just farm, so you get stronger. But here, this game does it a little bit different, and therefore, boom, it just says, like, hey, um, you can actually have a different option besides just murdering everybody <laughs> on your way to well through this story. So, a little quick uh, thing from my side. So what I'm going to offer you right up front from the beginning, of course, uh, I will just announce it when it's up there at the, the video too. There you will get a project file where you uh, have two things. One thing will be kind of the walking part of the game, which I don't want to do. So, so basically this part will be in there. So there will be a tile set, some, uh, I guess, a few basic sprites. And then you can just walk around. Collisions will be in there. Um, stuff which I uh, don't want to repeat because uh, you have seen I guess tons of other videos on that that's boring part we're just going to skip it entirely so movement and um, the outside world uh, stuff is, will be in the game so no not an issue and additionally Juju Adams uh, scribble that is important for dialogue or for typing uh, while well, text which is part in the game also so therefore Mm, we will kind of cheat a little bit and then you will actually have almost a dialogue system in there too. Almost, yeah, you will have actually a dialogue system in there. So what we're going to build here for this game is actually one thing, the battle system. And the battle system consists of a few things, which is the standard well, fight. So you get your HP, and then you just exchange uh, blows and then your HP is getting reduced and the enemies and then once the enemy is down you win and this is the normal way how to do that so that would be for example if you just click on this button so you just enter a, well, a fight and then you see the enemy and then you got those four buttons and then this mini uh, information about well a few metrics and then the, where is it where is it <laughs> When you just go fight then you just have this click time event i guess you know it if you play the game you just press in the right uh, uh, time and then you're just inflicting more or less damage based on your uh, violence level and your uh, well, weapon equipped so a little thing which is kind of fascinating and then of course um this is an, a, a turn-based system so you exchange the blow and then the enemies exchanging a blow by having um, this little mini game here so this is then the enemy turn and the enemy turn is just basically this bullet hell where you are this little heart which can move just in this box here and then well you need to dodge and each enemy has different kind of patterns what they are throwing and what they are uh, doing and therefore this is how that goes and what we're going to build is one template for one enemy and later on you can uh, advance the system for different kind of ones because I cannot clone every enemy. There are tons of them. That would be a long, long, long series, which I highly doubt anybody would watch to the end. 
So here we're just gonna build a template for that. And then of course we got the interesting part which is unique for Undertale, the friendship mode, which is then uh, not just fighting, you can actually act. So how does that look like? Well, you got, which one are we taking here? Um, then you got some options, which are just uh, texts. And then this one is fairly standard. So basically you just, it just gives you out what kind of informations uh, uh, the enemy has. So basically his stats and what kind of creature it is. And by that you can uh, take one of those other options and then they are kind of like exchanging blows also, if you pick the correct one. This is the fascinating part. And then at some point, um, the enemy will flash yellow. So the color from white will change to yellow. And then you can actually kill it, which is the evil part. Or you can uh, give mercy and just spare it. And then it will be uh, later on registered that your karma is good. And therefore you are, well, having and getting different kind of endings depending on what you are doing. Of course, you can go the complete violent route, just go with fight, which is easier and more effective. And by killing enemies, you can actually increase your violent level. So LV doesn't stand for level, it stands actually for your violent levels of violence. So the, the more violent you are, the more you're hitting the enemies with uh, well, the fight option, which is kind of fascinating also. But of course then, um, by killing uh, enemies, they become uh, less inclined to help you later on in towns or if you are just completely brutal, you can just wipe out the town and nobody's actually there to, well, as an NPC to help you out because, well, you pretty much murdered the whole crew here. So here, once again, consequences are there. You kind of have to emphasize with the enemies, which is the focal point of this whole uh, battle system where enemies are not just random uh, clones of clones, which you just uh, trample over and just use as farm. No, they actually have a meaning here. And then depending which route you want to go, the quick and easy and, and dirty route, which is fighting and just slaying them or trying to sympathize with them and even befriending them because you can actually befriend the, the bosses as far as I understood how that game works. So that is super fascinating. And we're going to build once again the whole uh, system for that. So the dialogue stuff, then the four buttons, and of course, uh, where's Game Maker? And then the part where you have this action sequence based on what kind of enemy you're having. And of course, if you have more than one enemy, then their patterns are overlapping, which is then giving the um, game a little bit of an extra twist. So that is what we're gonna do in this series and the second part, and then the second part, uh, a project file will be ready for you, uh, ready to use and abuse. And then we are building the battle part, not the uh, walk around part that will be included in there. So you can just play around with that. Just uh, this part, which is the most important one, which is the, well, the dialogue choices and the fight choices. I guess we will start with the fight choices first. So the dodging part, the bullet hell stuff, this is kind of interesting. And then we see how the rest goes. Alrighty, that was it then from my side and hopefully see you in number two of actually making Undertale in Game Maker.